Hi, Terry here, HVAC Maintenance and Supplies. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, changing the April Air replacement filters. Most commonly in the model 2400, the 2200, and the 2250. Though on our site we do carry the replacements for all April Air models, um, today's video is going to pertain to replacements of these. The uh, there's a couple different options for the replacements. The original April Air type, which we carry in value packs as well, these are a MERV 10 rating. And uh, basically the MERV rating is the efficiency rating or the quality of filtering that, uh, the quality of job of filtering that it'll do. Again, the standard that comes with it, the accordion type that open up with the pleat spacers is a MERV 10. We also carry, and are a huge seller of ours, is the rigid replacements. Uh, and I'll show you how these are so much simpler to change and most people that try these definitely don't go back to the others. We offer these in two MERV ratings, either a MERV 8 or a MERV 11. Um, you have to be careful sometimes about stepping up to the MERV 11 if you're in an older house and your uh, ductwork is questionable because you don't want to reduce the airflow too much. That's why we offer the MERV 8. For people that think that they might be along that lines, um, they can just go ahead and go with the MERV 8. So, in any case, uh, let's get started on uh, showing the replacement. It's not real difficult, but it can be very cumbersome with the pleat combs in the older style. First thing you want to do, uh, this is typically connected to your furnace, ductwork on, uh, on both sides of it. You want to pop off your, your front cover, slide the uh, insert out of there. And again, sometimes these, these pleat combs can kind of kind of stick on you a little bit. So we'll slide this out and again this is the same for the 2200, the 2400, very similar just a little bit different dimensions. <clears throat> Here's your pleat combs or separators, they separate the, the pleat spacers. First thing you want to do is pop all of these out. Now you have to be careful um, that you don't break these. These get broken very easily and we do carry the replacements on there if you choose to stay with the original style. The best way to do this to prevent from breaking them is to grab them right at the base and pop both ends off all the way down with the pliers versus picking up on one end and try to pick up. That's how they end up breaking. So snap all your pleat spacers loose all the way down the line. and simply remove those and set them off to the side. Then in some way, shape, or form, depending on what model you have and what age it is, your sides will snap down. There's usually little tabs you've got to push on here to get them to snap, snap down on both sides here. And I'll call these the bookends that open up. Then typically you snap up on these little tracks here that hold the side of the filter in there. Once you have those opened up, you lift the cardboard insert and it slides in little grooves along the edge here. Take both edges out and you pull out your replacement. Now, if you were to go with the new style, you would simply take this cardboard insert, put this inside of here, getting the airflow arrow direction right, snap up the side, slide it back in and you're done. So you can see how simple that would be. Um, and then again, you don't have to deal with these pleat combs. Sometimes there's even black tracks on here that hold these that you can take off and discard and set to the side as well. <clears throat> now, if you do choose to go with the original type of uh, April Air replacement, again, you'll set this to the side, pull the new one out of the box and basically do the opposite of what we just did. You hook these on the edge cardboard insert on the lip on both sides and this is pretty self-explanatory when you've got this in front of you and what you want to do again there is snap up both sides snap down these edges do this before you snap down the side, snap down both edges so that it holds the cardboard inserts in place. 
<clears throat> and then the best is to start with one pleat spacer at a time and this is the part that gets very cumbersome that you don't have to deal with if you go with the new style um, you want to simply get one finger in between each pleat get get the first one started and again this even for people that have done it can be very cumbersome trying to get one of those fingers in between each pleat And once you have one started, you kind of slide that back and forth to evenly spread the pleats. Snap your first one in, and the rest of them go fairly simple. You start them right next to the one that you just did because the pleating is evenly spaced. And then slide them down one at a time. And basically snap those into place as well. So again, each one of the pleats, start right next to one that you already have started. Snap into place. And again, all of these can be purchased, uh, the, the pleat spacers, any of your replacement filters, including the new rigid style, on our site at mainsupplies.com, as well as uh, other articles for maintaining your air conditioners, your humidifiers, uh, humidifier replacement medias. And again, you can see how even after I've done this so many times, wrestling with these pleat spacers can be somewhat difficult at times. So now you simply, simply slide this insert back into there. There's a track on the top and the track on the bottom, so you really can't get it, get it backwards. Slide that back into place. and reinstall your front cover on there. And that pretty much wraps up uh, replacing your April Air filter replacements. Um, again, you can go with the original style that's a MERV 10 or the newer rigid style in a MERV 8 or a MERV 11. These can be purchased online at mainsupplies.com. That pretty much wraps up our video for this segment. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comment box and stay tuned for more of our maintenance videos.